one faith that the Lord has given to us. We in the church of God choose life, do we not? We choose breath. We choose the warmth and touch of the Holy Ghost. We choose that direction from the head of the church of God. We're not ashamed of our heritage. We're not ashamed of our past. We're not ashamed of our doctrine. We're not ashamed of the exclusivity of the bride. We're not ashamed of our forefathers crawling on the floor to uncover what we have today. Amen. In fact, we honor this position. We honor His choosing us. We gladly embrace His presence upon this body and we're humbled by His call. We gladly stand for all the book, not watered down versions of the book, but all that the Lord says we will do. Amen. Listen, for the body to remain the body, for the body to stay alive, the body must go, must go where the head takes her. It may not, it may be to a barren land, there may be obstacles, trials, and tests, but for the church of God, we have grown too accustomed to breathing the breath of the Holy Ghost, to now accept man's word over God's breathed word, this book, the Bible. Amen. I will not accept anything less than what's from this word. Amen. Anybody gets in a church of God pulpit, we better preach the word. We better be in season. Amen. At all times, when it's popular and when it's not popular, we still stand on the book because it's the book that's the highest authority in the church of God. Amen. The assembly rightly divides it by the spirit and by the power of God, but committees, popes, all the others alive, uh, the priests, the prophets, they don't have authority over the book. The book is the highest authority. And if we can understand that as long as we stay under the book, everything's going to be all right in the house of the church of God. It's when we get out from underneath that umbrella that brings on strife and debate and divisions in the house. But as long as we can stay under the book, God says, you will be my people and I will be your God. And if we choose to lay the book down, He'll raise up somebody that will stay Stand on the authority of God's Word. Amen. 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 We've got to stay under the book, church of God. Hallelujah. 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 I'm not ashamed of our forefathers. How about you? I'm not ashamed of what they did for you and I. I'm not ashamed. Terry's and mine's mom and dad sold their house years ago and put it into the church. Didn't ask to get the profits out of the house. They put it into the church to keep the church going. That's the kind of faith the old timers had. They put everything they had into it. They wasn't ashamed of the gospel. It didn't matter if they didn't have anything else, but you know what? Mom and dad had more because they gave. It's a strange thing to me when I try to outgive the Lord, I can't. I, I just I can't, Brother Bly. For the best I can do, I can't. God just seems like He continues to bless us, does He not? We honor their position. We honor Him choosing us. Amen. Amen. His word is perfect. It's without mistake. It's an errand. It's alive. If you've been around me much, you've heard me say it reads us as we read it. I'm speaking to a group of men and women today that know the book. You have felt the breath of the Holy Ghost, the deliverance of the vine, and can no longer be tied to the things of the past. <laughs> Just got to lay it back. The Spirit, the Holy Ghost is pressing to the regions beyond. Guess what? We're going in, but we're going through the faith, the church of God. We're moving forward in the church of God. What we may not fully be able to contemplate or comp comprehend quite possibly all that is set before this generation of the church of God. But be assured we will meet our goal and we will accomplish our task. Do you believe that? Amen. Victory leaders of the church of God, I'd like for you to stand with me please. Sister Ryan, bring them down front in just a moment. All the victory leaders, Sister Ryan, our general coordinator, bring all of our young people down front please. I'm proud of this group. How about you? Wherever you're at right now, stop right where you're at. Don't move. Don't move wherever you're at. Stop right where you're at. 
Turn and face the congregation. Victory leaders, this generation that is seated around you, I want you to know are my heroes. They're giants in the land of the church of God. And we're committed to keep the one faith. We are committed to embrace all that's in this book. I know that you've been disappointed, young people, disenchanted, and yes, even lied to by those you highly respected and revered at one time. But these giants that are seated around you today have kept the faith. They have helped to preserve it for you. And let me say it loud and clear on their behalf, we took it and we will keep it, the church of God, for you young people. So help us God, we will keep the church of God for you young people today. We took it and we'll keep it. Stay with me just a moment. To keep this one faith in the faith, we knew that we could not go along with or embrace something less than what we had covenanted to. You see, our previous generation and then our, their previous generations were not wrong. And for a group of people to now come along and embrace a doctrine of new revelation that contradicts the Word of God is blatantly and belligerently wrong. Allow me to say it again. We refused. Neighbors refused. Wilda refused. Lester refused. Cannon refused. Avilas refused. Castellanos refused. Estep refused. Ryan refused. Jackson refused. Hatton refused. Lackey refused. O'Quinn refused. Cordo refused. And now thousands of other names are added to this list that we refuse to accept and embrace something less than what we had covenanted to. We refuse the spirit of error. We refuse the walking away from theocracy. We refuse to abandon the unanimous agreement. We refuse the thought of no respect for our elders. We refuse to be silenced on the call for less Holy Ghost power being manifested and less anointing. In fact, we need more Holy Ghost power, more Holy Ghost anointing, more Holy Ghost leading, more respect for our elders, more, more, more. Amen. Yes, this one faith has put ourselves in the same place that Israel found themselves in where, where it was stated. What mean these Jews? <laughs> what do you, church of God, mean? <laughs> That's what the book's saying. What do you, church of God, people mean that are sitting there trying to teach these young people that are standing these old foggy beliefs and thoughts? What mean these Jews? What mean these church of God? They were misunderstood and we today may be misunderstood. But for you and I, to, and let me say it loud and clear once again, we took it and we will keep it to the church of God. Young, come up here, Sister Ryan. You serve as a Victory Leaders General Coordinator. I'm going to make you a commitment to the youth. You represent the youth. We took it and we promised to keep it the church of God for your generation to come. If you feel that way, take one of these young people by the hand and tell them that as they're being seated this morning. Let them know you mean it, church of God. Brandon, I'm going to take it and keep it for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There's something deep moving in here today. There's some deep water that we're wading out in here. And I thank the Lord for that. <laughs>